Hello viewers, welcome to my channel, I am Hashim Ali Khan. So in this video, I am going to explain you about the features of inventory in Tally ERP9. Already so many videos I have prepared on unit number 2 regarding maintaining the stock units. So this is the last video on this unit stock maintenance I am going to explain you. If you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject computerized accounting, unit number 2. Watch all the earlier videos regarding maintenance of stock keeping units. So before giving the explanation of this video, first you take a screenshot of the notes which I have written on the board so that you can make a hard copy of it and keep it safe and before examination you can be able to brush up, you can be able to read the main important points of this video. So take a screenshot then I will explain. So now I'm going to explain you about inventory features of Tally ERP 9. Very frequently in examination, they will ask a question regarding what are the features of inventory? What are the inventory features in Tally ERP 9? So some of the features I've written here, uh, the following are the inventory features of Tally ERP 9. User can set yes or no based on his requirement. This uh, Tally ERP 9 is very flexible, user friendly. That means the user can be able to select whatever he wants, whatever the user wants, they can select it. So here they can, the user can select either yes or no as per their requirement. So what are the features of this inventory features of uh, Tally ERP 9? First, integrate accounts and inventory. So there are three methods through which inventory can be maintained. Uh, sometimes the user can maintain only accounts or only inventory or integrated accounts and inventory. These three options are available. So if uh, the user selects only accounts, he will not have any data regarding inventory. If he selects only inventory, only inventory data he can be able to have. He, don't, he does not have the accounts. But many businesses, they will choose integrated of accounts and inventory. So here, in order to integrate accounts with inventory, set the option yes. If the user wants integrated, that is accounts as well as inventory, he has to select yes. User can maintain either only accounts or only inventory. In case if user integrate accounts and inventory, then the profit and loss account balance sheet will take the closing inventory value from the inventory valuation. From the inventory valuation, they will directly automatically take the value of the closing stock in case of uh, profit and loss account and in case of balance sheet. Whereas if uh, the user does not keep integrated accounts and inventory, in that case, the user has to give the value of closing inventory, right? So that is the feature. Second one, allow zero values entry. Zero values entry means a voucher, a document is raised, but with, the, but with the value zero. In other words, it's meaningless voucher. So it restricts the entry of zero valued vouchers as they are mostly meaningless. So we can be able to set, the user has to select whether yes or no for allow zero value entries. If he selects yes, then even entry of zero values will be recorded. If he selects no, that it will not allow. It will not allow to record the zero values entries. So here in case user wants to make the entry of vouchers with zero values, then set the option yes. If the option yes is selected, even zero value entries will also be recorded. Otherwise, if you select no, the zero values entries will not be recorded. This is the option. Next one is maintain multiple go downs. If a business organization is having multiple go-downs at different locations, then they can track how much is the value of stock at each of the go-down. So here the user has to select to maintain more than one go-down, click on yes. If more than one go-down they are maintaining, then click yes. If they don't have different go-downs at different places, more than one, only one go-down they have, so select no. Next one is maintain stock categories. Stock categories by default will not be there. The user has to select, the user has to uh, I mean, activate 
the stock category. So stock category provides similar classification of items. Select yes to enable this facility. User has to enable the facility of stock categories. Then only it will be available. Next one is maintaining batch wise details. Many times a business a businessman wants the detail according to batch wise. So here this option is used to record batch information relating to stock items. If the goods are manufactured or dealt in batches, so the business can be able to have the details regarding each batch. Set expiry date of batches. This facility is also available in ERP 9, Tally ERP 9. Set expiry dates, expiry date for batches. So this feature is useful for business which are dealing in goods which are perishable. When the goods are perishable, example in case of uh, medicines or in case of food items, it will have the expiry date. So this accounting package, this ERP 9, Tally ERP 9 is having the feature to fix the expiry dates. So perishable and such dates are medicines and food. Use different actual and build quantity. Sometimes the actual quantity and the build quantity may be different sometimes. In that case, we have to enable the facility of actual quantity and build quantity as different. This option is useful while invoicing and recording as it allows user to maintain mention quantities which are different from that which are being delivered. The delivered and invoiced quantities are different then option is available to make it enable. Allow purchase order processing. Purchase order will be placed to the supplier for goods. The order processing involves placing of orders with suppliers to purchase. This is called order processing. So an order is placed to the supplier for the purchasing material. This feature enables tracking of the order position for a stock. This is also used for tracking the arrival of goods ordered and delivery of goods on time. So this tracking of purchase order is also possible. Next one, allow sales order processing. Just like purchase order processing, there is an option of sales order processing. The sales order which are received are entered in the sales order entity. Then these details can be stored while in invoicing and delivery note. So this feature. Now 10th feature is regarding allow invoicing. So this ERP 9, Tally ERP 9 will allow invoicing. User can choose to have inventory by using an invoice. The next one, use debit and credit notes. This package, this accounting package is having the feature of debit and credit notes. This option is used to have separate debit and credit notes for returns. Debit and credit notes are required for returns, that is sales return and purchase return. If user is willing to use only journal for adjusting entry, then select the option no. If the user does not want uh, to make this debit and entry, debit and entry options, debit and credit note options, in that case all adjusting entries are made in journal. If the adjusting entries are made in journal, then select no for debit note and credit note. Separate discount columns for invoices. It is not necessary that same rate of discount will be applied on every invoice. The discount rates may differ. So here the user can choose whether he wants a fixed rate of discount or different discount rates for different invoices. Next one is use multiple price level. The same price will not be applied on every invoice. Different prices may be applied for different invoices. So here also there is an option to choose whether different prices can be applied. Then use tracking numbers. So most of the businesses do not issue invoice bills related to goods they deliver. When the goods are delivered, many businesses will not use any invoice bills. They will not issue the bills. Instead of issuing the bills, uh, goods are attached by a document known as delivery note. The so delivery note is a document which is used when goods are delivered and therefore it is required to track each delivery note in order to make sure whether it is invoiced or not. So tracking can be done on the basis of the delivery note. On the basis of this delivery note, invoices can be prepared. So these are some of the features of inventory, inventory in Tally ERP 9. 
So this is the end of this uh, video regarding the features of inventory in Tally ERP9. Inshallah the next topic we will take up in the next video.